，谢谢范老师的这个精彩的点评，精彩点评。基于时间的关系呢，我们呢，呃，这个想这主注重的，请各位专家呢给予讨论一些问题。那么就大家看一下，问题非常的多。那么能不能请大家谈一谈，着重谈一谈，对于学生来讲，在现在的这种在线教学中的学生，他面临的各种挑战。那作为各位专家，能给我们的学生提供哪些建议？比如说时间管理啊，自我的激励啊，在这方面能不能给我们更多的一些建议？那、呃、来促使我们的学生适应这个大时代的一个突变。OK， 我干我打扰一下，就是在问答部分 ，Let's switch all to English because it's very hard to change the subtitle from Chinese to English, English to Chinese. Is that OK? Sure. OK. Yeah. So just.、Uh, We can focus on the some a few question and uh, uh, during the current issue, students meet are meeting a lot of challenges. Could you could you give us some suggestions? How can we help students to improve, like the time management, self the engagement, and self evaluation? Okay, could you give us some suggestions for our students? Mm -hmm. Sure, I can get started. Uh, Mag and all you all, Dr. Fan and uh, uh, Dr. Agrova,、uh, feel free to add onto this. I think this is really important for our students. So, to me, what the last model we're in the era of the last model, which is called connectivism, where I think it requires really high proficiency and literacy in technology. Like the kids really need to be comfortable to navigate through all the digital resources, and if they are not having the basic proficiency in that, that's going to start them actually lower、uh, and slower、uh, when they first get into this digital world. On top of that, it does require more high-level thinking, because with all this information, they need to make. The judgment: which source is right, which source is not. Am I looking at all perspectives, or this is just one single lens? So they need more holistic thinking when they look at information, right?、Um, so I think these are at least the two critical skills, and I think all the other experts probably have other thoughts as well. And uh, uh, Megan or Jugno、uh, um, and Dr. Fan. Uh, uh, our traditional, uh, I, I think that the、uh, delivery of the question in the online,、uh, in the online text,、uh, we may think about what would be the best way uh, of uh, for the content delivery,、uh, whether it is our traditional classroom uh, type of uh, uh, delivery or some other、uh, other approaches. And also, in terms of the, you, uh, uh, we we have seen some uh, uh, some questions about、uh, how AI will、uh, will be in this kind of a、uh, uh, learning process.、Uh, I think you know when we think about, especially for a more uh, a more mature uh, students, uh, I think the the, con the the practice, the concept, and practice of flipped classroom. Uh, would be good thing to consider, so that we we use online time more for discussion rather than for just for for the lecturing. At least we use that for answering more difficult questions, rather rather than going through、uh, or using all the time、uh, go through the content delivery as we typically do in the classroom. And also that uh, uh, in terms of the AI,、uh, obviously there are developments. In the in using AI in education,、uh, especially in the area of developing、uh, intelligence tutoring system,、uh, which is a、uh, uh, AI driven, big data driven,、uh, uh, we have seen some efforts、uh, in European、uh, countries under、uh, European Union. We have they have the Diner Learn developed by University of Amsterdam, and uh, even even in the uh, uh, I'm not quite sure of the some of the、uh, products、uh, in U.S. now,、uh, mm -hmm. but I have seen some the,、uh, some products uh, in China uh, in terms of language learning, etc. Some other areas、uh, those could be、uh, by 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 guesses. 
this unprecedented experiment. This is a huge, huge experiment on a huge, huge scale. Basically, the whole world was thrown into this improvised experiment uh, all of a sudden. But this has, this will imagine the in normal course to have the society to accept this kind of mode of learning will probably take years to realize. But suddenly in one month, in several weeks, all of, all of us are doing this. So when you think about this, I, I can't imagine that it will not have the positive uh, stimulus for the development of this kind of mode. So we won't be surprised uh, I won't be surprised that this will develop into its own ecosystem gradually. May not be the main ecosystem of education, but it will be a, a supplemental teaching and learning ecosystem. When we say ecosystem, we mean the whole system, not only the delivery, you mean a whole other things that will go into the system. Uh, so that's, uh, 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 that's how I view this. And uh, together with the development of technology, because imagine this pandemic happened five years ago. We would, we would not have the tools to do this kind of experiment. We, you know, you, can, can we imagine, and in those days, we use Skype to do this? How are we going to do this? We're not, we're, we were not ready five years ago, but we are, just at the time of being ready. So this, in, this, in, that, in, this, in this cynical sense, this pandemic came at the right time in terms of the, using the technology in this cynical sense. Otherwise, if it happened five years ago, we would be sitting there without, without doing, without knowing what to do. Thank you. What else? For the others, do you have some questions about it? Okay, so. Okay, so the it's wonderful. We have a very wonderful discussion. And also the thank you all to join us for this time. And then, and uh, just thank you everybody. And uh, next下一次呢我们还有这个进一步的讨论那么就是下一周呢我们的同一个时间我们将有另外一个博士呃就是哲雷格里呃沃森博士要给我们做另外一个那个讲座这个题目关于人类命运共同体追求公平价正义和和平